g'day guys, Corey from Gold Diggers here and uh, welcome to Detector Pro Tips part 2 on the MineLab GPX 5000. So today we're going to talk a little bit about um, what we discussed in part 1 and um, show you a few visual demos of what some of the settings do and um, what changing them does. I'll try and keep it fairly basic for you but um, give you a little bit more advanced info. So obviously the first thing we want to do is switch our detector on. Now I've got a booster on, so I've got to find the on switch for that. Alrighto. So first thing we're going to need to do with the 5000 is set our threshold. So we want to set it so that it's just audible, but not too loud. So about there is pretty good. Now I'm also going to change the volume limit here so I don't blow my eardrums out. So once we've got the um, threshold volume set, we'll do a little bit of a listen, see if there's any interference. That little noise you could hear there was actually interference. So in this case, I'm going to put my detector down here and press the noise cancel button. So we'll just wait a minute for the noise cancel to go through. And once it's finished, we'll try and ground balance. I don't know if you can hear or see in the background, but Ben's bringing the excavator down at the moment. So you may get to see some live mining action behind us. Noise cancel still going. Still going. Okay, noise cancel's finished. So you can hear an awful noise is our machine out of ground balance. So to ground balance it, press in the green button. Coffee coil up and down until she's nice and smooth. So we're ready to go detecting. Just have a look and we'll double check on all of our settings, make sure they're where they should be. So make sure we're in the special fine gold timing. Gain is on preset. Stabilizers on preset. So, ground balance. Let's have a listen to the ground. So we can hear she's a little bit jittery. I hope we can hear that it's a little bit jittery. So what that means is my RX gain might be a little bit too high for this ground and this coil. So what I'm going to do is bring my RX gain down a little bit. So we're on 11 which is the factory preset. So let's come down to about 8. Ground balance ground balancing much better this time. Still a bit jittery. But a lot less noisy than before. So what I'm also going to do now to further smooth out my threshold is I'll come and adjust my stabiliser. So this is a bit about so it's a couple of points below the RX gain. Now I've got a nice stable threshold. Ground balance nice. Nice and smooth. So I reckon we're ready to hook up and we'll go for a detect, see if we can find some targets. So as I'm detecting here guys, you can sort of hear a bit of fluttering as we go in the threshold. Um, and that's using the, the fine gold timing in combination with the uh, Nugget Finder Evolution coil we got here. Um, so what we've sort of heard from... Whoa, 
got a nice target we'll have a look at. Um, but what I was saying was um, what we've heard from customers is uh, quite a lot of them find those little fluctuations a little bit annoying. Um, so what can be done is we can actually run in the enhanced timing, uh, much like we do on a 4500, and that'll just make it a lot quieter and a lot less fluctuations. But you can hear we've got a really quite a loud little target here. So let's just do a bit of a demonstration. Um, what we'll do, we'll put our gain right up so you can hear the ground and hear that target. So first off, let me find my gain setting. Let's put it all the way up to 17. So you can hear immediately, doesn't want to ground balance terribly well. It's quite quite noisy as we detect. And you can hear that target, it has gotten a lot louder. But there's a lot of other noise going on here. So let's put the game back down to where we were, just a little bit more sensible. And uh, the next thing we could try is let's put it on the deep switch on the front of the detector. So you can hear the tones changed a little bit, and that's just because of the factory defaults in the deep setting. So you can hear it's a little bit, little bit unsteady, little moany and groany. And you can hear that target sounds totally different now. It's very broad. And you may probably mistake that for um, an EMI spike or even a ground noise. So again, we sort of see people a lot um, seeing this deep switch and going, oh, we'll put it in deep. But uh, deep really is just a set of factory presets designed to highlight larger, deeper targets. So you'll tend to miss a lot of these smaller, shallower targets but you can't miss that one in factory presets. So let's dig this thing up and see what it is. So let's pinpoint it a bit. Right about here. Right, so she's out already. Somewhere. Right, I think she might be in this clump of stuff here. Sure is. And we've got a dozer chip once again. Fairly large one this time. Love the dozer chips. Oh well, carry on. Okay, so I might just have a quick look at something while we're detecting along down here. Um, so, particularly for those that have got the Nugget Finder Evolution and the Coiltech Elite coils, um, when you first get your 5000, the Mine Lab defaults on the front tell you to put your detector in normal. Let's just see what happens when we actually do that. You can hear we're right out of ground balance and although it will ground balance for us it's very moany and very groany. So that would make it very, very difficult to detect for any length of time. Because it sounds like there's targets everywhere. So if we go over that same patch of ground in special, and here she ground balances nice. 
runs nice and quiet over the ground. All right, we'll come back when we've got a target. Okay, I've got a bit of a target here. It's a little bit iffy. It's fairly repeatable, but it looks like it's in some really nice hard packed material. So let's have a look, see what it is. Might have it out already. Or it might just be ground noise. It doesn't seem to be reacting from any particular one little point. So there's a good example of a ground noise for you. Always pays to dig them though. Here, we've got really noisy patch of ground. That's just the ironstone that's sort of washing down this little eroded area in front of us. So if you seem to be getting a signal over a large area, do a ground balance over the top. It's calmed it down a little bit. getting a fair bit of noise around. Calmed it down a little bit more. So I just want to show you something, um, particularly for the guys with the Evolution and Elite coils, is they tend to be um, really prone to saturating the ground with uh, response because they've got a much larger transmit and receive service area. So if you traditionally like to scrub your coil on the ground, you may find with a, the Evolution and coil tech coils is they'll be very noisy if you scuff it on the ground, like you can hear here. If I ground balance it and just give it half an inch above the ground, super duper quiet so that can make a huge difference with being able to hear targets and not having to listen to noise constantly so it's a good little trick for you so one other thing i'd like to talk about too is the um audio tone setting in your detector so it doesn't really have any um impact on the machine's ability to find targets but it's important to adjust it to suit your own hearing ability um, so some people can hear higher pitches really easily uh, some people can hear the lower pitches much easier so setting the tone to suit your own hearing 
will help you hear targets, um, particularly faint ones. And the best way to set your tone is to bring it up on your screen here. And then with the setting knob, just scroll up and up. I'm hoping you can hear this. The pitch is getting higher and higher. And to my hearing, that's getting quieter and quieter as I go higher in pitch. So if I start lowering that pitch, it's now getting louder for me. Till I get to about there. That actually sounds really loud to me now. We actually haven't changed the volume at all. All I've done is adjust this tone to my personal hearing um, ability. So that's just one little thing you can do. Play with it, there's no right or wrong. But if you set the tone to your own hearing ability, you'll probably find you're getting more targets or you're hearing targets a lot easier. Okay guys, so thanks very much for watching. Um, we've tried to keep it pretty basic for you, but hopefully you picked up a few tips and tricks. Um, so don't forget, you can always give us a buzz on the Daylight Helpline, which will be flying around here somewhere. Um, so I'm Corey from Gold Diggers, and thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Oh,